Hi everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you've found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging. And if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join me here. Today we are kicking off Collectionmas, Collectionmas 2022. I'm throwing in the 2022 because I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in 2023, but best to put it in there anyway. Um, so Collectionmas is going to be 24 days of collections. So I will feature a different one of my collections every day for 24 days. And this is day one. So stick around. There's lots more to come. Um, and make sure you've subscribed. So I will um, do one of these videos and it will go up every single day in the lead up to Christmas. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do on Christmas Day yet. Maybe just collapse in a heap. But for now, let's stick with the 1st um, first of December to the 24th of December. And today we are doing the Louis Vuitton twist. So I have quite an extensive Louis Vuitton twist collection. Those of you who watch my channel regularly know that I love this bag um, and I do collect this bag. So I will take you through all my twist bags today um, and then we'll see what we do tomorrow. But for now, let's get into my twist. So twists come in a few different styles and sizes. So I'll start with these ones up here. So these are not your traditional twists. They um, look slightly different. So they're longer um, and small. Well, they're longer, they're not smaller. So I guess it's like an east-west twist almost, but that's not what it's called. Um, and these ones um, have a locking mechanism which is magnetic. So it... There's the top, there's the bottom, they come together, they magnetize, and then you just twist it and it's like that. Um, and these ones are actually in um, precious materials. So they're, this one's got all beading all over it, although the back, it stops. So it's leather there, you can see. Uh, and they're more of an evening bag for me. And, but the inside is no different. You still get the mirror. You've still got the zipper compartment there and the bigger section. These ones actually have credit card slots in the front. Um, so more of a walk style um, and it does still come with the strap. So still all the bits of a traditional twist. They just look a little bit different. Oh my goodness, it's a sticker. <gasps> How are you still on there? We don't do stickers. <laughs> okay. So that is my very first twist that I'm showing you guys. And let's just get it done up. Meet in the middle, Meredith. So I've got mine stuffed with the dust bag, which sometimes makes it hard to get. All right, so we've got it. There we go. So that's my first twist. And then my second one is in the same style. And when I went to the CLV event um, in Sydney the other night, this bag was actually up on the wall with uh, lots of other bags. So I was like, oh, there's my bag. In, fa in fairness, there were a couple other bags that I owned as well. But this one, I was surprised, made the cut. So um, I loved the colors in this when it came out. It's super puffy. Reminds me a little bit like Lego. Does anyone else see that in the design? Just reminds me of Lego. And we love Lego in this house. Um, got the gold hardware. So it's the same. It's got the two locking mechanisms, one on each um, side, and they come together. No different to the other one. Like I said, these ones have the credit card slots in the front. This one's got a purple strap that goes with it. And, yeah, I love the colors in this one. I just thought it was bright and happy and fun and a little Lego. So that's my second twist. We then have the MM size. So the twist comes generally in an MM or a PM and then there's these other ones which um, I can't think of the name off the top of my head if they have a special name, but they're a little bit different. Um, so let's get into the MM sizes. So pink raffia, which I have unboxed on this channel. This is just an absolute darling of a bag and it goes with my outfit. Look at this, I could wear this. <laughs> Um, so it's completely raffia all the way around in this pink. It's got the gold hardware and this is a PM size. So the smallest. So leather interior on the inside, leather adjustable strap. 
there. And oh, so there's the mirror. And I never take the stickers off the mirror because if the mirror tarnishes, it's really not going to worry me all that much. Um, and then big open space and compartment. This one does not have the zip compartment. Some of them do, some of them don't. It's real strange to me. Um, it's like there was a decision made on some, but not all. Um, but I loved this raffia. I just thought it was beautiful. And obviously pink is my color. I love the color pink. So this one's got the magnetic closure because it is a precious material. They couldn't do a cutout. So as we get through this, you'll see some of them have cutouts and some of them um, are this magnetic closure. And then it has this permanent um, gold chain on top. So yes, this is my pink raffia twist in the PM size. And then this one so this was from the sun sunset collection no summer collection can't think of what it was called now uh but this was early 2022 from memory so i loved the gradient in this the pink to the purple and it has the silver hardware which just sets it all off it's just beautiful this design it's in the epi leather love an epi leather super hard wearing it's got blue um, microfiber lining and then the strap let's just get that out so the strap is in like this dark blue color which goes really well with the pink to purple and it has the shorter strap and this strap has the blue enamel, en enamel bits in it. Are they enamel? Are they? Might be plastic. They could well be plastic. So that's a little different. So you can put that on and the other strap as well, have it as a handheld or have it as a cross body. So yeah, love this bag. I think it's beautiful. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So then we have this twist. So this was my very first twist. So I haven't actually been collecting twists for a huge amount of time, I've got to say, considering the collection that I actually have. But this was my first one. My sales associate sent this to me and went, oh my goodness, have you seen this pink? And I was like, oh, look at the pink, look at the pink. I love the pink. Um, and I really loved this top handle that it came with. Um, and he sold me on it. He talked to me about how much he loved this twist, how fabulous it was, and that I really needed to give it a go. And he was right. He kicked off a complete obsession. So this has got this scrunchy leather top to it. And then the... Um, uh, clasp was also covered in the same pink leather so open that up it's got bright pink microfiber lining and you can see this one has the cutout so we are now into a standard leather um, so the cutouts are fine epi and standard leather tend to have the cutouts whereas if you get into anything more precious than that then they will um, generally do the magnetic closure so the strap is just in the same pink the inside does not have the zip compartment that we're seeing in some of the new ones that are coming through because it's a bit older. Um, but this pink was just everything for me. I just love it. And I was so gl I'm so glad now that my sales associate talked me into um, how amazing this bag is because I agree. I Now that I own them and I use them as often as I do, I really agree that these are beautiful, beautiful functional bags. Uh, so this is the top handle style in the PM size. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is my only one that comes with a set top handle to it. All right, next one. So we have this iridescent pink with this rose gold hardware. You do not see a lot of rose gold hardware on the Louis Vuitton um, bags. They recently released a rose gold cousson, like the color of the leather is rose gold, but then they put gold hardware on it. And I was like, well, why didn't they put rose gold hardware on it? Wouldn't that make sense? And that actually threw me for that bag because I was really looking forward to it. I thought it'd be a beautiful bag. But the fact that they did um, yellow gold hardware with the rose gold leather, I was like, Missed opportunity, guys. Missed opportunity. And that would have bothered me. So I haven't actually bought it. Um, but this one has the rose gold, which is just stunning. 
and it's a real iridescent pink which I'm hoping comes up on camera with my lighting and it's got this braided top handle to it and then also cut out because it's standard leather so we've got the cut out there and plain pink interior but I really loved these iridescents that they did um, what was the the Stardust collection? I knew I'd get there in a minute. So the Star, Stardust collection had a lot of iridescence in it, and this came out around that period. So yeah, love this one. It's just such a pretty pink. All right, and we have my black MM. So now we're getting into the MM size. So this is the next size up. This is the biggest one that they do at the moment, to the best of my knowledge. There is no GM um, twist at this point. <laughs> So this one is black epi leather and it has pink hardware, which is very cool. So a black bag is always handy to have and I love the pink hardware um, accent to it and it has this beautiful rose ballerine interior to it with the cutout, of course. Uh, the strap for this is a little different. It has this strap, so it's a guitar strap and it's in, oops, there's a second strap. <laughs> and it's in this gradient green to pink, which is also really um, different and really beautiful for this bag. Let me pick up the one that I just dropped. <laughs> it also has a, another shorter strap that you can make a top handle bag. Um, so if you just put that on, it becomes a top handle bag or you can put the guitar strap on and carry it crossbody or over your shoulder. Um, because the strap is not adjustable on this one, I have to say it does um, sit quite high. Um, I much prefer the longer adjustable straps. So that's my black epi leather. And then we have the natural color raffia one. And I bought this at the same day I bought my pink one. Um, so we have the natural color raffia in the MM size. A natural is always great. It's a great neutral, obviously. Um, coming into summer here in Australia, I expect that I will probably use these raffia bags because hopefully at some point it's gonna get warm. It's not yet, it's middle of November while I'm filming this, not warm yet. Um, so yes, we have the magnetic closure again because it's a precious material it comes with black accents in this one which made it really different for me and the strap for this is actually black so which is a really lovely juxtaposition to this natural fiber that we've got here um, but these ones these raffias were just beautiful i i would have happily bought them in more colors had they come in i would have loved like an aqua or a blue or a turquoise um, but so far we've just seen the natural and the pink Oh, there we go. Got it. So that's my Raffia MM twist. <laughs> and then we have, what's over here? So this was part of the um, Teddy collection. Um, I have this design, so this collection, in pretty much every bag they made it in. I loved this collection. I thought it was really underrated. It's still selling on 24S, which surprises me. I, which it tells me that it wasn't as loved as I loved it, but I really loved this collection. So um, yeah, I had to get the twist in it, obviously, because I had, I've got the Neverfull, I've got the On The Go, I've got the Noe, got the speedy yeah I've pretty much got everything in this collection um, and I love this collection because look how beautiful that interior it is it's just so pink um, the strap for this is really handy because it's a monogram strap which means I can use it um, in many other bags so that was a really cool feature for this um, collection that it did have the monogram accents um, and it's the cutout because it is standard leather, even though it has shirling detail to it. So all these um, things on the front are just in shirling. And yeah, underrated collection as far as I was concerned. I really loved this one. My bargain of the century bag. I will find the unboxing for this and link it down below because this bag deserves a round of applause for what a bargain it was. So this is my peacock bag. It's not its real name, it's just what I call it. Um, and I have this in a Felici. It's from 2017. I loved this design. It was just the most stunning design as far as I was concerned. 
it's just beautiful and it's in an epi leather with silver hardware um, and I will definitely link the video down below because it's an interesting story but I managed to get this at 2017 prices and I've only just bought it this year so check out that video if you're interested in the story but this is just stunning stunning bag I am um, you'll see it on Instagram I have worn it and posted photos of me wearing it it goes with so much because of the coloring in it it's epi leather it wears really well it's got silver hardware it's got this beautiful blue interior and the chain on this is um, does actually come off but is only one piece so yeah it's just a beautiful beautiful bag I am so happy I have it I just adore it. So, yes, this is my peacock bag. Oh, that's what I call it anyway. And then we have this one. So this was the Forcinetti collection. And I don't know if I ever pronounced that correctly, but you guys will tell me. Um, I call it the Forcinetti collection. Um, and I got a few pieces from this, um, but this is the only one I got with these um, heads on it. And I just thought it was really interesting. I don't use it a lot, I will admit, but it is an interesting bag. So you can see that the twist detail on this is in the monogram. And if I turn it over, it's got this fade design on the back. So the front is full color and then you get to a fade design on the back. And then you open it up and it's got the chocolate brown Louis Vuitton, the color the boxes used to be on the inside. Um, and the chain on this, oh, take the dust bag out, is just also in the monogram. And it does come off, so if I really wanted to, I could use this on other pieces. Um, I don't, but yeah, this is my one twist from that collection. I got a Capucines. I didn't get a lot from this collection, but I thought this one was really interesting. So yeah. That's my MM twist for that collection. And then my unicorn twist. So this is in iridescent green and it's rainbow hardware. So I've also unboxed this on this channel. And it's just, I don't know if that rainbow is coming up, but it's just beautiful. It's almost like an oil slick. Um, and even the green is iridescent. So it's that same Stardust collection green. And it's just beautiful. Um, and then it's got the green interior and the green strap that goes with it. Um, and I was at the CLV event the other night um, and I met um, one of the other clients from the Sydney store and he had his sister with, um, with him. Andrew, if you're watching this, hi. Um, and his sister was there and she has this exact bag and it's just, it's a beautiful bag. And she's like, oh, I got this bag. And I'm like, oh, I own that. It's nice. She's like, oh, you own it too. She's a lovely, lovely lady. Um, so yes, it's, it's just a stunning bag. I call it the unicorn bag because of the um, rainbow hardware that's on it and yeah it's just beautiful so that's that twist and then my two newest additions which I have just unboxed today but for you guys it'll be a couple of days or a week between are my shearling <laughs> little powder puff bags so I got the pink in the shearling with the gold hardware and I have the blue in the shearling with the silver hardware. And these chains on the tops of these are set. They don't come off at all. And the straps on these are shorter than your standard strap. So you cannot wear these cross body, but to be fair, they are definitely a statement piece. So I will probably be trying to make a point of showing these off um, by holding them in the crook of my arm rather than um, cross bodying them. So there's the pink with the gold and it's the shirling and it's just, it's like a big teddy bear. It's so cute. Um, and then there's the silver um, and blue combination just there in the shirling. So these are beautiful bags. So that is my Louis Vuitton twist collection for Collectionmas. So how many twists do I own? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I own 14 Louis Vuitton twists. Am I done? No. Nah. 
<laughs> I would never claim to be done. There are always more beautiful things coming. Um, I love the twist. They won't leave my collection. Um, they're just a brilliant, brilliant, underrated bag from Louis Vuitton. If you're looking at the twist, please, please go check it out. I think it's a great bag. Some people find it a little bit too boxy for their use, and I understand that, but if you um, like this aesthetic, then please go check out the Louis Vuitton twist. I think it's so underrated. If you have liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. We have 24 days of collection miss. There is so much coming. So make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell notification so you know when I upload videos, which is going to be every day pretty much through December. Um, please also come follow me over on Instagram. I'll throw up my handle for you. Um, I post lots in real time. I put up lots of pictures around my collection. I let you know what's coming in terms of videos. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.